Hello, this is Derek Tebbers, and this is your Flight Simulator X Mod Spotlight. Hello, and welcome to beautiful, cold, snowy Downsview Airport in Toronto. There's a CN Tower over there. Look at that. Um, we landed at this airport. I think we landed at this airport. Let's look. Did we land at this airport? Yeah, we tried to land at this airport with the... Um, I think I tried to land at this airport with the Avro Arrow. Anyway, um, obviously we're not in an Avro Aero. We are in a very nicely modeled Tiger Moth. So the de Havilland Tiger Moth was built in the 30s. It was a trainer. Wow, look at that. You can even read the warning sign. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at that big old compass in front of us. Controls. Yeah. The guy in front of me, I notice his head moves around. He's kind of looking around, chilling. Gas tank's up there. <laughs> Not the best spot, I guess. <laughs> Depending on what you're doing. So this is the uh, Tiger Moth. Uh, we're at Downsview because the Havland had a facility here at Downsview. And also because uh, when I first saw the Tiger Moth, it was actually at the Canadian Air and Space Museum, which is located at Downsview. So uh, there you go. How about that? So let's take to the air, let's check out Canada, and maybe land at um, Downtown Airport. How about that? Let's try. Um, there are no flaps. What is that? Is that my... What is that thing? I have a feeling that that's my like, attitude indication. I, do, <laughs> I do, did notice my RPM gauge is kind of like knocked wonky. <laughs> it's like I didn't quite install it quite right when I put it in. Uh, what other views are there, maybe? Do we have any other views? Let's see. Virtual cockpit, cockpit. Hanging your head out the left side. <laughs> Hanging your head out the left side. So that's awesome. Ooh, look. What are these? Rear magneto. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they put the magneto switches outside the plane. Can I play with your gauges? No. No? Okay. What else did I have? Uh... Pull the prop to start. Well, the engines. Maybe I can see the runway now. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Let's shut down the the engine. Did you shut down the engine? Apparently not. Hmm. Let's go back in the cockpit. And let's. What is, what is this? Instagram panel light switch off. I don't know. Oh. Ah. Eh. Eh. They have a nice firm click sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but in my headset there's a nice click when I flip a Ooh, smoke. Ooh. <coughs> don't do that. <laughs> Alright, what's this? This is my mixture. Hello, mixture. Can you move? No? That moves. That does not. Huh. So I can't kill the engine. Well, that's kind of sad. Alright. Well, let's stick to the skies. We've warmed up for four minutes. I'll look at my tail now. Yep. Up. Down. Excellent. Left. Left. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> Got the wrong spot. Alright, let's take off. Now... Tiger Moth had an anti-clockwise prop, which was different than most aircraft of its of its era. Most of them ran clockwise, so the pilot actually had to apply a different uh, rudder during takeoff. Look at that, nice easy takeoff. I think that, see that big building right there? I think that's the Canadian Air and Space Museum. Either that or it's the giant flea mall that's right next to it. Ugh. Looks like the weather I I had when I walked to the Air and Space Museum. Yeah, I think that's it. It's Air and Space Museum. Where's that it? Hmm. No, I think that would be it. I don't know. I give up. Uh, Toronto's behind us. <laughs> Let's turn around and go. So the plane takes off very nicely, very light. I mean, as you would expect. The props work. That's beautiful. I mean, it's not like that Brewster Buffalo, which was so sad. Toronto down. Hello, Toronto. Where are you? Toronto? Toronto? Oh, there's Toronto. All 
right. Cruising along. Oh, ooh, we're cruising along, and we're gonna hang your head out the left side. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can actually pretty well fly along like this too. Um, all right, so we're flying. Uh, side slip. Yep, there's notice the side slip there. Yeah, that's nice. Now, I want to put my head back in the cockpit for a minute. Let's look over here. Oh yeah, look, there's there's our uh, indication of attitude. <laughs> uh, we have attitude. Of course, we have attitude. All right, let's check out what our pilot, what our pilot, what our passenger sees. No smoking. Our head's moving around. We do have a stick. Completely different flying position. <laughs> we can actually see where we're going. How about that? Be cool to be a passenger on one of these. What is that? Must be some electronic wizardry for the modern era. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I can see the runway now! Uh, no, not really. Radios. Ooh, do a nice close-up of the radios. Um, let's see, pull the prop to start. Ooh! Now there's a nice, interesting view. Eh, I can't get the prop. <laughs> Is it actually... Uh, virtual cockpit. <laughs> let's, let's get back on the plane. Uh, there's the airport we're gonna head for. It's just going to be a short flight today. I really like this plane. The install is very easy. It's actually an executable install. The link is in the description. It's really nice. It, it actually gives you a number of planes. Hey, look, there's our fuel gauge, I think. Apparently, this plane is not one you fly upside down in. <laughs> um, and it also includes a very big and extensive PDF uh, discussing uh, the known bugs with this particular mod, which there aren't very many, and the ones that they call bugs, I'm like, really? That's that's what you consider a bug? But they do. Ooh, let's turn the smoke on. Go, let's look at our plane now. Ah, look at us. Yeah. Ooh, we can be a skyrider, except for that might involve going upside down. Look at us. Us and our passenger. I've flown in a plane like this, sitting up in the front, right by the prop, the pilot behind. Only mine was a steerman. I think I talked about that before. Okay, so there's that runway there. There's that runway there. CN Tower. Ooh, the glass floor in the CN Tower. Ooh, that's spooky. Been up there a couple times. I'm trying to see if there's any other buildings that I recognize. <laughs> uh, I spent so much time in Toronto. They have the Maple Leaf Stadium in here somewhere? Maple Leafs? Yeah, Maple Leafs. And the Raptors. Been to games. Never made it to a Blue Jays game. Been in a couple of those tall buildings also. Yeah. Okay, anyway, enough of that. <laughs> enough discussing what I've been doing. Or what I've done before. Slide, slip, 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 sliding away. Let's make our passengers sick. Oh, hey, let's turn off the smoke. <laughs> People are gonna think we're gonna crashing. Ah. Uh, all right. Enough of that. Uh, where did the runway go? <laughs> Suddenly, I see the benefit of those two views. <laughs> um, let's uh, let's hang our head out the left side. <laughs> uh, you can't look around. Oh, yeah, you can. You can look down. Oh, it's very slow then. What is the... I'm trying to figure out what that yellow thing is down there. What is that? What do you think that is? Huh. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, crap. I've done knackered that view. Uh, can I see the runway now? Yes, I can. Aha. I love the naming. That is awesome. So they say that you should touch down, attempt to touch down. Uh, on a three-point landing at about 40 knots. Do we think that's going to happen? I doubt it. 
just based on my history. I, ooh, hello. I doubt it. <laughs> We're just going to try to get down at this point. Oh, look at that. What's that big heavy freighter doing there? They don't want a big heavy freighter in there. Ooh, I see the I see the, the train station. Really nice train station. Um, are we going to make this landing, do we think? Do we have brakes? We do have brakes. Okay, good. We have land brakes. No air brakes. Ah, we're going to die! Um, yeah. <laughs> Not the best landing in the world. I must admit, I think we're going to have to do a little, uh... <laughs> we're going to do a abbreviated go-around. We're going to use one of these longer runways here. There's no air traffic. Causing problems, aren't I? Oops. Yeah. Then up to the very... The, the top little observation deck you get up there. It's pretty cool. Yep. Pretty cool up there. It's also pretty cool because I went there in the winter, so it was cold, actually. Not cool. There's the runway. Runway? No. There you are. Alright. Let's get around here. Runway! There you are. Yeah, I know. Violating all kinds of rules doing something stupid like that. But, you know, that's what happens when you fly with me. You break the rules. Throttle all the way down. Let's just kind of float down. And these biplanes are always difficult because they're more... They have so much more lift. Right, come on, come on. Down, down. Are we down yet? No. I'm running out of runway really fast. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stop. Don't nose over. We're not going to do that Brewster Buffalo flip again. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there we go. We're going to run off the runway if we're not careful. I like this view. I mean, look at this view. You and your passenger hanging out, having a good time, and kind of seeing the engine. Yeah. Now, this is a neat, neat plane. I, I like this plane. Um, whoever asked me to do Tiger Moth, uh, the Tiger Moth, I'm glad you did. Because uh, I found this plane, and it's it's really neat. It'll probably be hanging out in my hangar. Yeah, so this is the Tiger Moth. The link is in the description. Uh, it's an executable, so it works, it installs itself. Uh, you, you get multiple aircraft with this mod. So until next time, it's Ben Dare Tebbers with your Flight Simulator X Mod Spotlight.